Hey everybody, Gary with Basecamp Trading. Let's take a look at the final trade we took this afternoon on the ES in the live futures room. This is our Unirenko chart, which is our primary trading chart. And we were looking for the ES to rip into the close. We talked all afternoon about how we were expecting the ES to make a strong run into the close. And as most of you know, that's exactly what we ended up getting. But on our Unirenko chart, we had a nice setup. Price broke the cloud, pulled back into the cloud. Price is still above the smooth 50. Wicking out of the cloud, the 50 SMA is in alignment above the smooth 50 in the cloud. The 34 EMA is above the 50 SMA, and the 18 EMA is above the 34 EMA. So our moving averages are in alignment. Didn't quite have momentum yet, um, but a nice setup out of the cloud. And so got long in here, stayed with this trade, and we stayed with this trade for quite a while. We're using uh, MQ Momentum Trender Pro to manage our trade. It's the indicator that colors the bars, and it just kept us in the trade. We made a little pullback. Bars never turned red, and we just stayed in, stayed in, stayed in. And then right here, we had a target area right here at uh, 57 and a quarter. And we came up in here, actually pushed through it a little bit, pulled back to it, went ahead and exited the trade. Nice run, $1,600 on that runner. Only entered the trade with two contracts. Uh, took the first one off at first target, held on to the runner, and again, held the runner all the way for $1,600. However, honestly, I mismanaged this trade. Trender Pro kept us in this trade. There was no reason to get out of this trade. And you can see that the ES just kept ripping higher, ripping higher. Trender Pro never turning red all the way up through. We had plenty of room on our 30-minute chart. We weren't in significantly overvalued territory until we got way up in here. But you can see Trender Pro would have kept you in this trade way up into this area right here before we would have hit significantly overvalued on the 30-minute chart. I ended up leaving another... 30 full S&P points on the table, not 30 ticks, 30 full points, which would have been good for another $1,500 per contract. So while the trade was good, I'm happy. $1,600 trade on a runner is a nice trade, but Trender Pro is a great tool in market volatility like this, especially on these Ranko bars. It just keeps you in the trade. You know the old adage, Cut your losers short, let your winners run. Well, Trender Pro is a great tool to help you learn to let your winners run. And you can see Trender Pro would have kept us in this trade for easily another $1,500. Again, I just mismanaged it. I was happy with what I got, but I definitely left some money on the table. Trender Pro is a great tool. And as you can see you now on this 30-minute chart right here, when we got out of the trade, we were right in here. We were not significantly overvalued. We didn't hit significantly overvalued until we got up here at the top. And that would have been a place where we could have taken profits then because Trender Pro would have held us in the trade all the way up into here. We would have hit significantly overvalued. At that point on Trender Pro, we would have got our first reversal bar right in here when we're significantly overvalued. We know we hit significantly overvalued. That that's a point we're going to probably either get a pullback, consolidation, possibly even a reversal. So that would have been a great place to take profits. So again, didn't do as good a job managing as I could have. Again, I was happy. I got a nice trade. $1,600 is a really nice trade. But I left money on the table. Had I stayed with Trender Pro and held that until we hit significantly overvalued on our value charts, it would have been good for another uh, 30 points on the ES. So you can see we have some great tools here at Basecamp Trading. MQ Momentum Trender Pro would have kept us in that trade. Our value charts would have gave us confirmation to stay in the trade. So between Trender Pro and our value charts, we have the ability to really maximize our profits when we take a trade. But, hey, a good day in the ES. I'm still pretty happy, but could have been better.